going to explain a very complex area of the world in terms of plate tectonics. We've got a lot going on here. We first off uh, have all of the various plate uh, movement boundaries uh, that we've discussed beforehand. Plate separation located or shown with the blue D uh, on this map. So that's going to be divergent plates. Uh, then you've got plates that collide with each other, convergent plates labeled in yellow C's, and then the white T's uh, are where we have transform faults, essentially plates sliding right by each other. So in the case of the Caribbean and Central American regions, uh, we've got essentially squeezing happening on both sides of the region. We can see that in the two solid black uh, arrows that are coming towards each other. So essentially what's happening is the Caribbean plate is getting squished. And so what's happening this thus is an ocean plate on both sides is going underneath, for the most part, a continental plate. Uh, and so we look at the Car Car Caribbean plate, it's kind of half continental, we can see that in the Central American part, but also half oceanic. And so on the one side or the right side or the eastern side of the Caribbean plate, we have convergence, that's what the yellow sea indicates. And so what's happening there is an ocean plate is essentially going underneath an ocean plate, thus creating an island arc. And we're going to see that volcanic island arc wherever we see ocean versus ocean convergence. And I've already mentioned this beforehand in other parts of the world. So these are the Lesser Antilles. The Lesser Antilles are formed from an ocean plate converging with an ocean plate. On the other side, we have... The, the Central American land bridge. That Central American land bridge, not going to get too much into it, but it's been around for a while. So essentially we can think of this part of the plate being much more continental in its characteristics. And so what's happening here is the Cocos plate, uh, it's kind of fun to say, uh, is going underneath uh, the Caribbean plate on its western side, thus creating a continental ridge. And so you can bet your bottom dollar in both of these areas in convergence, along with the other sea there off the coast of Mexico, we're going to find a deep ocean trench. We're also going to find earthquakes we're also going to find volcanic activity. Now, in the case of this particular area of the world, the Caribbean plate on both sides is where we find a whole lot of volcanism. Uh, we really don't see too much of it there uh, along the coast of Mexico. Now let's go to those white T's. So essentially what's happening is where we see the white T's are just where the plates are sliding right by each other. And so essentially what's happening is if we look at the uh, one particular T, this particular white T, Mexico, uh, the southern part of Mexico and Guatemala are essentially sliding by each other, slowly but surely going to separate from each other. But it's been that way for a long, long time. And you can actually see that in an aerial photograph. You can kind of see uh, the transform fault uh, boundary. Keep in mind, these are where we're going to have plates sliding by each other. So in the case of the Northern Caribbean, we look at the Northern Caribbean plate. Not a lot of volcanism happening there. Uh, there are earthquakes, no doubt about it, uh, but we don't see huge volcanoes like we do on uh, the eastern side, the island, like Dominican and Montserrat, uh, especially Montserrat, an island in which it's very active, in which it blows off its top all the time. Uh, and so these T's, essentially what's happening is the Caribbean plate is got all of its, on all of its sides, got these different plate boundaries, convergent plates, transform faults. Uh, and then we step back and look even further uh, uh, outward. We look at the right there in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, we have separation. Right there in the middle of the Pacific on the other side, we have separation. So that separation on both sides of uh, the Americas uh, is essentially creating the convergence in which we see here a very violent area physically, but also in terms of culturally as well as we'll uh, soon find out.